took a while for it to click. I really stumbled over how easy it was. I thought, no, 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 no. But finally, I think mainly because of your patience and flattery, which you know, works, <laughs> um, we, we got it. And we just kept going back to the question and drilling down and drilling down. Um, so enormously helpful. It, I think, is a testament to how, how much we complicate things, showing how great the difficulty is with something that's so simple. Certainly, from, from my part, I really did have difficulty with it. Yeah, yeah I, I actually found that quite uh, a powerful exercise because I have actually been coaching for a while. But to come back to this simplicity, mm -hmm. the danger wasn't in the questions. The danger was in my judgment of the answers coming out as to whether or not they were on, you know, on track with what they needed to do. As long as I kept myself out of the way and kept on coming back to the simple questions, mm -hmm. the process continued. It's only when I interpreted the answer that I got into trouble yes. on there. So uh, when I was working uh, with uh, uh, my partner, she commented that she felt that uh, uh, perhaps I was going around in loops internally that's not a, what I felt because every every time she came back to the primary question I got back on track yeah. mm -hmm. and I was going deeper and deeper so we were actually going somewhere although it may not have looked like that on the outside and so from the coaching perspective this is a lesson in the coach getting out of the way yes Yes. On there and complicating things because yes. actually it is very simple. Yes, and if the coach is confused, then you just ask the, the question at the top of the back. How does this relate to the stated outcome? Mm -hmm. And all you need to say, well, it does. And you might not even need to explain how it does. But when you're in that cycle and you know that if you keep asking the question, you're going to make a breakthrough, and the coach stops it, it's so frustrating. So if you're going to stop it, challenge it just simply, and how does this relate to your stated outcome? And if it's okay, just, just, just keep going. But remember, the horse or the client, they know. The rider, the, the coach, they don't know, but they know the process. Trust it, honor it, and keep at it. So. When someone asks you the question, and if the coach sticks to these questions and asks you the question, it can give you so much clarity. Yes. I mean, just sticking to them and thinking about them can bring about a lot of clarity. That's what I noticed. So th I have to thank Sanjay for that. He did a very good job there. I, I noticed how, when I stopped putting my own perspective onto it, how much progress we made. Good. Because I, I find that I empathize sometimes by saying, um, yes, I know how that feels, or I would do that, and that's complete, it tends to sort of stifle it's, it. It's banned. You're not allowed to add fluff. And if they fluff, you keep asking questions till they drop the fluff. Mm. And it's a lesson I learned in the early days, again on this early course. I kept adding bits to make the question easier to go in. But actually, if the question is clean, and if it's given with port, you don't need any sort of fluff. But feedback is what I criticised Shekhar for earlier. You mustn't add the content. Your job is purely the process. Um, for myself, it was actually quite revelatory regarding the particular question that I, <laughs> um, that, um, I answered with regards to myself. But the, what you said about um, the danger of not just letting the process just you know, spiral out of control, yeah. yeah, you've got to make sure and you've... But then the other thing for me is that I like to feel that, okay, going through the process, once the client's walked away, have they understood and realised that they've actually answered their own question? That's the part that I feel you've got to... I'd like to be able to feel that, yes, did you just understand that you've now answered your own question? Or are they going to walk away 15 minutes later and think, well, that, oh, that was great, but back to whatever I was doing before. Well, one of the frustrations of coaching and also, I think, good therapy and so on. What I, I think we give an example some of it. What I say, what's the difference between training and coaching? If you've been on a training course, you know what you've been taught. <coughs> if you've been coached, you might not be able to remember what the problem was. And so sometimes it's frustrating because the coach can achieve great uh, progress with the client and the client doesn't recognize it because the problems have gone away and you get no credit for it. But then we're not in the business of getting credit. And I think it's in, in, in the workbook, but it's Lao Tse talking about leadership. Uh, and he says, and at the end of the day, they thought they did it all themselves. Mm -hmm. 
and that's invisible leadership. I liked using the questions um, from both perspectives, both being the coach and the coachee. And particularly the first question really focuses because they're coming up with the question, and not you, on what it is that's perhaps bothering them at the time that they want to actually explore further. So I think that was particularly powerful. Um, the other question for us that was particularly powerful was that last one, what stops you? Yes. And exactly what happened was, that's an interesting question, or that's an interesting point. And it almost felt like it was a reality check. And the reality check was, well, actually, there's nothing stopping me. So what am I messing around with? So I think it had a lot of uh, impact in that respect. And then the other thing that particularly happened in ours, and I think it relates to the question of what would be even better, um, when, when we were having our conversation, what actually happened is, no, I don't want to go anywhere else. I actually want to stick with this now. And that was very good because it meant that the coachee was keeping the conversation where they wanted to be and not allowing the coach to take the questions sort of in a different direction.